Is there a place for comparing ourselves with others? For inspiration, maybe, hmm. but not as not as a you know. And, and maybe you could use the word for a critique to point us in in a in a mode of you know. If we if I play guitar and then I I go see this guitar player and I'm like, whoa, look what look what she can do and look what I can't do. You know, if it ends up being a self a self critical judgment where all of a sudden I'm. I'm crippled. I can't play guitar because I'm not as good as that person. Well, that doesn't really serve me. But if I'm looking and say, wow, look at the way he held his hand as he did that run. Let me try that. And now that helps me. So, you know, for inspiration and to learn, absolutely. Um, but to be crippled by comparing yourself as, as less than just for the sake of um, beating yourself up, no. So to do the second aspect where you can look and just oh, wow, that's so cool what they're able to do. And even maybe get pleasure in admiring what someone else is able to do that you would never be able to do. Does that take a certain amount of groundedness in our own being? Most definitely. definitely. Yeah, I would say it takes humility. Hmm. It takes humility because ultimately, you know, we, we're all in this together. You know, that that person may play the guitar better, but, you know, I may have other gifts or talents that that person um, doesn't have. So to be able to just be inspired by somebody, I um, mean, yeah, I think it takes humility. 